Here is the recap of the first and second season of Halo. In the future, humanity has made a great leap in development and has begun to colonize other star systems. However, they encountered aliens called the Covenant, hostile to humans. As a side note, the Covenant is an alliance of different races led by prophets. Humanity begins to lose the war with the aliens and the United Nations. Space Command create the Spartan Project. Orphan children are subjected to serious tests from early years. Their bodies are changed and various implants are inserted, because of which they become real killing machines. However, the children often die because of the mutations. The successful start of the Spartan program turns the tide of the war, and now humans are fighting the Covenant as equals. However, humanity is divided and some planets are in a constant civil war, while the Space Command, with the help of the military and the Spartans, pacifies the rebellious peoples. In the year 2552, aliens attack the planet Madrigal and kill all the people on a certain drilling station. Only a girl named Quan has survives. At the last moment, the Spartans arrive and destroy the Covenant. The protagonist Spartan named John, with the call sign Master Chief, goes to the cave for the remains of the aliens and stumbles upon a strange artifact. After touching it, he activates it, and the protagonist awakens memories from the past, which he did not remember before. The activation of the artifact is noticed by the elites and reported to the prophets. In the meantime, Master Chief takes the artifact and the girl Quan by order of the leadership and then goes to the base. We are shown a planet called Reach, the center of human civilization. A scientist named Catherine Halsey, creator of the Spartans and other important scientific discoveries, is unhappy that Admiral Margaret Perengoski forbids her to research some new technology that involves cloning. As a side note, cloning is outlawed here. Halsey also receives data about the artifact. The Spartans found and realizes that they have encountered some unique item created by some powerful ancient race. While the protagonist is flying to the base, the Space Command wants to use Quan for propaganda since many nations are rebelling against the United government. The girl refuses to cooperate, and then John is ordered to kill her. But the protagonist, after meeting with the artifact, for some reason begins to doubt his memories and feelings. So he refuses to carry out the order. John is then declared out of control by the Space Command. Upon arrival on the planet Reach, the spaceship with the protagonist is surrounded by the military, but Master Chiff touches the artifact, which causes all the electronics in the area except for their ship, to shut down, and he flies off the planet. Master Chief arrives at the pirate station Rubble, which is run by Soren, a former Spartan who escaped from the Space Command. He is a friend of John and it was Mater Chief, who helped Soren escape in the past. The protagonist wants to find out what the artifact is, and is introduced to a man who was experimented on by the Covenant, but escaped. The man tells him that the aliens have been searching for this artifact for a very long time, and it leads to a weapon of unprecedented destructive power. John leaves the girl to Soren and asks him to take care of her, and he himself sets off with the artifact back to the Reach. Soren also tells Chiff that if the special capsule in his spine is removed, he will begin to feel, and the Space Command doesn't want the Spartans to feel something. It turns out that Quan was the daughter of the rebel leader on the planet Madrigal and asks Soren to take her back as she wants to free her people from oppression. Upon arriving on the planet, Quan learns that the resistance has been completely wiped out. However, she is also told that her father had met some mystics in the desert in the past, and it was after this that he became so obsessed with protecting his planet. The leader of the local government wants to kill Quan, as she is the last of her family and only she can revive the resistance. The girl escapes and eventually finds a clan of mystics, who give her some kind of drink and she sees some kind of hallucination where her dead father tells the truth about her family. It turns out they have been protecting a certain well for decades, which is a portal of an ancient race, but it's unclear where it leads. Soon Quain along with Soren Kill, the leader of the local government with his men, after which the girl entrusts herself to the protection of that well portal and goes in search of it, and Soren flies home on the rubble. Master Chief, who has returned to the Reach with the artifact, is locked up and the Space Command decides what to do with him. Halsey suggests using her new artificial intelligence technology called Cortana. Roughly speaking, she wants to replace Spartan's consciousness with AI. 
after which they will become an even more destructive killing machine and completely controllable. Space Command authorizes her to act, and we learn that Cortana is created from a clone of Halsey. Her consciousness is digitized and the clone dies in the process. Halsey learns that the artifact only reacts to John, so she implants Cortana into the protagonist, not fully, fearing that after the erasure of Master Chief's consciousness, the artifact will stop activating. Roughly speaking, Cortana becomes the protagonist's voice assistant which the protagonist is not happy about. Touching the artifact, John sees strange memories that do not correspond to what he was told about the past. However, something disturbs him, so the protagonist cuts out the capsule that suppresses the Spartan's emotions. Halsey finds out about this, but doesn't interrupt Schiff as she wants to continue researching the artifact. As a side note, Halsey is obsessed with the greatness of the human race, but realizes that the current version of it is a dead end so she has spent her life trying to improve humans. Roughly speaking in her eyes, Spartans with artificial intelligence consciousness is a new stage of evolution, and what the artifact hides will give the opportunity to advance humanity even further. After removing the capsule, John touches the artifact and sees memories from his childhood when his parents were still alive. As a child, for some reason, he drew this artifact, which was inserted into a larger artifact, John and Halsey travel to the planet Eridanus, where they find the protagonist's abandoned home. There he discovers his old drawings, on one of which we see a circle. According to Chief, this is the weapon of incredible destructive power. Upon entering the house, the protagonist has a vivid flashback and remembers that the second artifact is on this planet. He also sees Halsey in flashbacks and begins to suspect that he was actually lied to about how he became a Spartan. Recall that Spartans, according to the Space Command, were only recruited from children whose parents had died. Soon Master Chief goes in search of the second artifact and eventually finds it. Meanwhile, we're transported back about 20 years. The Covenant attacks another planet in search of ancient artifacts, and with the help of their sensors, they determine that a girl named Maki is emitting the signal they need. They take her in and raise her as an equal, calling her blessed. In modern times, the Prophets of Covenant inform Maki that there is another person with similar powers to hers, meaning Master Chief. The girl informs her masters that she can gain the trust of the humans and get the artifact back. After that, the Covenant captures the Space Command ship and Maki, having killed the entire crew, finds out where she needs to go. During the attack, her voice was recorded by an Earth ship and sent to the Reach. On the planet Reach, Spartan Kai, a fellow protagonist, also has her capsule removed because she saw Master Chief do it. She begins to feel and soon meets Miranda, the daughter of Halsey and Space Command Captain Jacob Keys. Miranda, being a scientist, is trying to decipher the Covenant language and asks Kai to help her with this, as the Spartans have heard the aliens talking more often than anyone else. She receives a recording of Maki's conversation from the Space Command ship she destroyed, but because of the noises, she can't understand what she is hearing. Meanwhile, on Eridanus, the Space Command establishes a military base around a second artifact. Master Chief is forbidden to touch it, as it could trigger destruction or even kill the protagonist. However, John wants to find out what really happened in the past and touches it. After that, he learns that as a child, he was kidnapped from his parents, like all the other Spartans, had his memory wiped, and then replaced by clones, which, by the way, lived only a few days. This is, by the way, the main problem with cloning. They die very quickly. An enraged Master Chief attacks Halsey, but Cortana disables him. Touching the artifact triggers its activation, which the Covenant learns about, and the alien ships attack the human military base. The recovered Master Chief and the other Spartans in his squad fight off the attackers, but they manage to steal a large artifact. When the Covenant ship leaves, the escape pod containing Makey falls from it. Arriving at the Reach, Maki is interrogated and tells the Space Command that she was kidnapped as a child by the Covenant, but was called blessed and treated well. The military suspects that she is a spy and sends Master Chief to talk to her. She informs the protagonist that only they are able to activate artifacts of the ancient race of Forerunner, as such an ability is very rare. Further research confirms that they share a number of similarities in their genetic profiles. When John touches the first artifact again, his consciousness and Maki's consciousness is transported to the ring world, the halo from the series title and the very weapon. 
Upon returning from this vision, the protagonists sleep together and Maki begins to question his loyalty to the Covenant. Meanwhile, the Space Command leadership decides that Halsey is too careless in her research and removes her from her position, appointing Miranda, her daughter, in her place. By the way, the two have a bad relationship. Halsey manages to copy her daughter's retina and regain full access to the military base, then begins to oversee the artifact research. Maki tells John that the Covenant is looking for the ring, as there is some prophecy of a great journey. He then tells the Space Command where the Covenant most likely took the second artifact, but the military can't find the planet on their map. After John's persuasion, Miranda agrees to let Maki touch the artifact so they can find the second artifact. The girl comes to the test chamber, but Miranda has just decoded the audio recording where Maki killed the ship's crew, after which the guard starts beating the girl. At this point, Halsey, having full access to the military base, disconnects all communications and orders the Spartans to steal the artifact, Master Chifa and Maki, then bring them to her ship. However, Cortana possessing human intelligence and even compassion decides to warn John, taking his side. A battle ensues between the Spartans, but at that moment, Maki touches the artifact, creating a colossal shockwave. Though she had been leaning towards the humans before, she now realizes how cruel humans are. The girl takes the artifact, boards the Covenant ship that the Space Command has been researching in the labs, and flies off to her masters. Base Command learns that Halsey tried to steal the artifact and arrests her. A few hours later, the woman becomes ill and dies suddenly. Her daughter Miranda guesses that she is a clone of her mother, and Halsey escapes. At the end of the season, we are shown that she has helped to leave the Reach. Meanwhile, Master Chief tells his squad that they were actually kidnapped as children, and the Spartans leave their disagreement behind and work as a team again. He and Miranda guess where exactly the Sacred Covenant planet is, and the protagonist's squad goes there. Once there, the Spartans fight the aliens, but the powers are unequal, and the protagonists begin to lose. At that moment, the Covenant unites the artifacts and Maki touches it, after which a map leading to the ring begins to appear in the sky. John's consciousness is transferred to Maki, but he fails to convince the girl to side with them, and Kaya shoots her, after which she falls dead and the map in the sky disappears. The prophets report that the map was incomplete and order the soldiers to capture Master Chif alive, as he is the only one left who can activate the artifact. John sees that his entire squad is seriously wounded and realizes that he can't save his friends with his own strength and he won't be able to take the artifact, because if he touches it, he will fall into a stupor again. The only solution is to give full control of the body to Cortana, but there is a risk that the protagonist's consciousness will completely disappear, and it will not return. However, John realizes that this is the only way out of the situation, and gives up control. Cortana lightning fast deals with the advancing waves of the enemy, takes control of their spaceship, loads an artifact on it, and saves the entire crew after which he flies to the Reach, and we don't know if Master Chif's consciousness can return. This is the end of the first season. Some time passes after the events of the previous season. Master Chief turns to the Reach, where scientists surgically remove Cortana from him. The war with Covenant continues, and a group of Spartans led by the John is sent to the planet with another mission. By the way, by this time John's teammates have also pulled out their emotion-suppressing capsules. Soon, they learn that Covenant is about to glaze the planet, that is, launch from orbit weapons that will simply melt the Earth and rocks. John goes to retrieve a squad that has gone missing near a communications tower and meets an ambush by the elites. Which is very strange, as there is no point in attacking the tower, because the planet is going to be destroyed anyway. John saves a single soldier named Talia, but there are too many enemies and John is defeated. However, Mickey suddenly appears and orders the Covenant to retreat. Master Chief is shocked, as he thought the girl was dead. He takes the wounded Talia and manages to reach the escape shuttle before the planet turns into a glowing fireball. Arriving at the Reach, the Spartans learn that Halsey has been replaced by Ackerson. The man is acting strangely and doesn't believe John's report that he saw a squad of elites near the communications tower. The leader thinks that Master Chief has gone mad and suspends his squad for a while. John goes to Talia whom he rescued a while ago, and asks why she hasn't confirmed the information about the elites. 
after which he learns that the girl told Ackerson everything she saw. After a while, John learns that another team of Spartans has been sent on a mission to a broken communications tower on the Reach. I remind you, the Reach is humanity's main planet. John begins to suspect that the Covenant has already infiltrated their planet, but for some reason the Command doesn't believe him. He gathers his team and heads over there. However, he doesn't have time to deal with the situation as he is detained by the soldiers, believing that he is out of control. Meanwhile, we see Meiki and an arbitrator named Var Gatanai attack the Space Command base and take a large artifact of the Forerunners. Meanwhile, we learn that Quan He's planet has also been glazed over by the Covenant. The girl has no choice but to return to rubble. There we are shown that Soren is beginning to lose power among his people. Soon he learns that someone has seen Halsey on one of the freighters. The man still has a grudge against her for stealing him from his family and making him a Spartan. Soren and his crew go in search of her, but it turns out his friends betrayed him and gave him to the Space Command. Quan Hay learns of this and realizes that his wife and son, Lara and Kessler, are in danger. So he helps them escape from the rubble, but things don't go according to plan. Little Kessler leaves alone on a transport ship, and Quan Hay and Lara go after Soren. Meanwhile, we see that the Space Command have captured Halsey after all, and are holding her in a special prison. We are also shown that Ackerson hasn't wiped out Cortana, and she is calculating some data for him, and the odds of a bad outcome are almost 100%. Soon Soren is thrown into Halsey's prison, but the man doesn't kill her, and she tells him that she is the one who let Soren escape from the Space Command in the past, as she always saw him as a free person. Master Chief is taken into custody, but he manages to escape. He goes to meet Perengoski, thinking that she is retired and not connected with the command. But it turns out that the woman on the contrary is almost the head of all mankind. She wants to arrest John, as he knows too much, but the man escapes. Meanwhile, Ackerson manipulates the Spartan Kaya. He convinces her that Master Chief has gone cuckoo and she goes over to Ackerson's side. Soon the man shows Captain Keyes the corpses of dead Spartans in the communications tower and informs him that Command has known about the Covenant's invasion of the Reach for some time. This is exactly what Cortana has been calculating and the predictions are not comforting. The Space Command is not going to defend the planet. They will evacuate the most valuable resources and allow the aliens to destroy the Reach. Just at that moment, Covenant attacks humanity's main planet. Soren and Halsey escape from prison and the woman wants to take Cortana, but she doesn't make it in time. Mickey steals the artificial intelligence and the protagonists have to escape. Meanwhile, John rescues Talia and together with her gets to the headquarters, where the evacuation of the military is in full swing. Captain Keyes and a group of soldiers decide to stay behind to cover the civilians while they board the transport. They are joined by Master Chief and two of his Spartans. Soon Soren and Halsey meet up with the others, and in the heat of battle Captain Keyes sacrifices himself to save the civilians. The others retreat, one of the Spartans is killed, and John fights Arbiter Var. John loses the battle, but then Mickey appears and orders the alien to let John live. Suddenly a ship shows up with Quan He and Soren's wife. Everyone manages to get on the shuttle and leave the planet. Soren learns where the transport ship carrying his son Kessler has arrived and goes after him. While he and his wife try to find out where the boy has gone, John buries the Spartan with Quan He. During the funeral, the girl begins to see hallucinations and is once again reminded of her great goal of becoming a protector. Soon Master Chief decides to take action. He wants revenge on Perengoski and Ackerson for giving up the Reach so easily. John finds out where the command center is and goes there. Soren's son is taken there as well, determined to make a new Spartan out of him. Only Reese from John's squad decides not to go. She is so wounded that she can no longer fight. So the main characters fly without her. Meanwhile, at Space Command Headquarters, Ackerson is heading up a new Project Spartan 3. They're made up of regular Marines, except they're trained by Kaya. And one of the squads includes Talia. The new Spartans are trained in virtual reality, over and over again, going through an incredibly difficult mission. It involves infiltrating a Covenant ship and sticking a special spike into the control center. This should disable all electronics, but Askerson begins to suspect that Perengoski is deceiving him. He soon realizes that if someone sticks the spike into the alien ship system, it will cause such a powerful explosion that it will destroy all the ships in a radius of an entire star system, along with all the planets. So the new Spartans are basically kamikazes, but they don't know it. Ackerson confronts Perengoski and she puts him in jail. 
the protagonists arrive on the planet where the Space Command is located. Soren and his wife find their son from whom they have already started to make a Spartan, but suddenly the military kidnap the mother and son, and Soren goes in search of them. At this time, John surrenders to the military and is taken to headquarters. And Kwong Hei finds a well and jumps in, where he meets Halsey. Turns out it's one of the first places where people found traces of the forerunners and Halsey has been working here for a long time. Soon they meet Miranda, Halsey's daughter, who is continuing her mother's work and trying to decipher the writings of an ancient civilization. We learn that in the past, Halsey opened a forerunner's capsule and discovered some DNA in there. She realized that with its help, it would be possible to use ancient technology and began to look for people with similar genes. It was John who was discovered to have this DNA, which is why she chose him for her program, the Spartans. Suddenly, Quang He begins to understand how the Forerunner's devices work and opens a door that the scientists did not even know about. There, the protagonists see a whole city of an ancient civilization. They go into a laboratory and find the body of a Forerunner scientist. At that moment, the doors begin to close and the main characters have to run away. But Miranda manages to take a certain artifact found in the hands of the corpse. Kwong He also tells the others that she senses some evil lurking in the place. Arbitrator Var believes that Meiki has betrayed Covenant, but the girl with the help of Cortana manages to trick the alien. She assures him that he is the chosen one and it is he who is destined to find the halo. However, Meiki, having only one artifact at her disposal, cannot locate the halo and Cortana offers her help. If she is given access to the communication lines, she can contact John and convince him to touch the small artifact of the Forerunners. That way they will know the location of the halo. Mickey gives Cortana access to the communication line and the artificial intelligence instantly infiltrates both the Covenant and human systems. Cortana helps John free himself and leads him to a small artifact that also happens to be in the Space Command base. He touches it, and at that moment, Meiki also touches the large artifact. After a brief conversation, they disconnect. The Covenant fleet learns where the Halo is and heads there. The humans also learn that their enemy has found the Halo. Parangoski realizes if the aliens get there first, all of humanity will be destroyed. So she orders the entire human fleet to attack the Covenant. She hopes that at least one new Spartan will reach the enemy ship and stick the spike. This will destroy both armies and even the ring but at least humanity will survive. Cortana helps John find his armor, and the man flies to the Halo. He learns that Kaya and the new Spartans are on a one-way mission. With huge losses, they manage to reach the control center and Kaya is ready to stick the spike in, but Master Chief appears and convinces her not to destroy everything around her. The Spartans retreat, but Kaya steers the ship towards the Covenant's main ship, and she is likely dead. With this action, she seizes the initiative from her enemies. Meanwhile, John arrives at the cruiser that Meiki was on. The girl has already flown to the Halo, but Master Chief finds a chip with Cortana on it, then in some unknown way downloads her into his body. It's probably something to do with his forerunner genes. John then heads to the Halo as well. Miranda discovers an artifact found in a forerunner lab and accidentally unleashes some ancient virus. We soon learn that its name is Flood. This pathogen starts infecting people, and they turn into aggressive monsters with a common mind. Almost the entire command is infected and Parangoski apparently dies. Miranda sees that her mother has also begun to turn into a monster, so to slow down the process, she puts the woman in a hibernation capsule. Meanwhile, Soren meets Quan He and together they find Lara and Kessler. They escape from the prison and bring Ackerson with them, but Lara also becomes infected and sacrifices herself for her loved ones. On the way to the ship, Quan He is suddenly surrounded by monsters and her ancestors speak to her again, telling her that the Flood is what she must protect humanity from. John gets to the Halo and meets Meiki with Arbiter Var. Master Chief fights him and eventually wins. Maki informs him that she wants to destroy all life in the galaxy, as only then will peace reign. She activates the Forerunner device and escapes inside the building. John follows her and meets some super-intelligent robot who warns John that a monster has appeared ready to destroy all life in the galaxy, meaning the Flood. This is the end of the second season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.